Kimmy Russ, we'll be glad to go because they fill you with food all the time here. Just oh, make you eat, 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 there. eat. You gotta swim out and get the balls after you hit them, babe. Do you? Yeah. Tell them, no, Kim, yeah. Tell them, there you go. Oh, it's like a puzzle. <laughs> oh, no way. This is a waste of 13 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Where are you meant to get them? You just hit them in the water, babe. Do you know what to do, Kimmy? Not at all. Take your bag off, put it on the ground here. Oh, no. What? What if that hit the duck? No, nah, babe, you got to hit the ball first. It's been here, what, half an hour and I've still got a bucket of balls? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not, because I'll just go back to Nats and say, Nat, call your dad, please. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you got to go through, isn't it, babe? It's yeah. what the kids put you through. Oh, oh it's a gravel car park, babe. How are you going to uh, go? Deal with it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, so you're I made my own decision. Fuck it, hell, there could be trouble here, Corey, if she's making the decisions. Are you coming? Yeah, just give me a sec. I don't want to fucking run over a kangaroo. <laughs> yep. Oh, I think we might be just about here. We are, babe. So this is where we left off in episode 14. Rusty has to keep an eye on his back. Kim was crowned the axe throwing champion. But then the kids took us down to Harrigan's at Cameron Park. The story of this place has only just begun. It is the first new pub in Newcastle, Lake Macquarie region for 20 years. So, we were keen to try it. Well, it did not disappoint. Absolutely beautiful place, beautiful surroundings, and a great meal. Then, it was on to the next adventure the next day. Okay, we are in the Hunter Valley Gardens. In the Hunter Valley, of course, isn't it, babe? Beautiful place. Hey, and what are we going to do today? Um, we are playing Aqua Golf. Aqua Axe Throwing Kim. Well, <laughs> if Kim can't hit the ball, she'll probably end up throwing the golf club like the axe, mate. Yes, yeah, definitely. Because we do know she is good at that. But this is a beautiful setting here. Look at this, guys. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Kim's never played golf, I don't think, have you, babe? What's... No, I've never played golf. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I know. Never swung a, a golf club ever. Never. Nope. What's been doing? I don't know Never. what she's been doing, mate. She's Throwing hatches, I think. Yeah, she's done that before. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Throwing axes. <laughs> we have to walk down that road. We park here. Yeah. Fine. We're working out where we got to go, guys. <laughs> well, did you park in the wrong spot, Michael? <laughs> I wasn't driving. What? I wasn't driving. Who was driving? Who was driving? Always. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Now we've got to walk a kilometre. It's alright, we've been eating so much food that we need to walk two kilometres. I'll tell you what, <laughs> old Kimmy Russ will be glad to go because they fill you with food all the time here. Just I'll make you eat, 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 there. eat. Yep, that's it. That's our golf over there. You only just spot that, I just pointed to it. Yeah, but I've got Dad right next to me, he's very loud. You've got to swim out and get the balls after you hit him, babe. Do you? Yeah. That's fine. They can't swim. for every ball you don't return. Yeah. Well, Michael could walk out there and not even get up to his knees. So this is it here, guys. This is where they're taking us. Aqua Golf and Pup Pup. In a boat. Yep. This is the Hunter Valley Aqua Golf and Pup Pup Golf. It is a perfect activity for all ages and to know golf experience is necessary. I do stress that because once you see Kimmy, you'll realise why. Aqua golf isn't just for fun. You can also win plenty of prizes if you hit the ball into the one of the nets. Not that we may or may not have succeeded. Stupid bucket. They put your coin in. Only goes one way. That way? Just okay. Slotted on one side. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't keep it down. Turn it down. Like a puzzle. <laughs> Bring your balls, babe. That's a whole lot of balls. Bring your balls. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to lose these all in the first shot. 
Kim's a bit worried at the moment. Oh, no way. This is a waste of 13 bucks. <laughs> Should have just paid you. Go along the end away from everyone there. <laughs> Uh, That's crazy. Where are you meant to get him? You just hit him in the water, babe. Yeah, I just need to hit the pole, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are we going all the way along, are we? We'll go here somewhere, oh, eh? Good job. You're only allowed one person at a time. Do you know what to do, Kimmy? Not at Take all. Take your bag off, put it on the ground here. Hey, hey. What's this one for? That's for left handed. Oh, That's left handed, babe. Put your oh, ball on it. Because I'd be hitting it back yeah. that way. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Now I'll show you how to hold it. Lock your finger in. See this? Yes. Lock your finger, finger so in. So you have two thumbs like together. Feet apart. Right. And then hit it. Okay. Oh no. What? What if that hit the duck? No, babe, you've got to hit the ball first. <laughs> okay. You've got to hit the ball first. I'm, I'm worried I'm going to hit a duck. Well done, son. Like that. Feet apart. A bit close to the ball. Right. No, you club a bit closer. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. Don't. Now, when you swing, yes. keep your eyes on the ball. Don't follow the club. Swing hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Take some practice swings on the grass. There you go. Nice. And that's all set up for us. You look like a golfer. Yeah, these are my sports. They're shorts and a skirt. Cool. Way you go. Golf skirt, Dad. Oh, almost hit the duck. Yep. There you go. That's Mom two was... times I've yep. played golf now. Good shot, Rusty. Well, I wouldn't have said that, Kimmy. Really aiming for anything at all, so. And you've gone out over there. Oh, I'm just warming up, mate. He's played golf before. Oh, that's pretty good. No, I'm, I think I'm, I'm hooking it a bit, babe. You need to go a bit straighter. Hook, hook, hooky. I'm having problems gripping it. Wow, that's a good shot. Oh, good swing, Natalie. A bit of swing Natalie. down here, mate. Okay, now, what club are you using there, Natalie? Um, Here we go. Golf one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to start with. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Try the longer club. Mm -hmm. Yours? Yeah, try that. So there you go. Square it up. Yeah, yeah. Now, get. Whoop. Lock your fingers in. Lock that over the little finger. Over your little finger. Yeah. Like this. Put it down, lock that in there, oh, okay. like that, right. okay? Like that? Yeah. That now get feels in feels weird. Does it? Put your mm. hand down the club just a bit more. Yep. Right. There. Yeah. And keep your eye on the ball. Okay. Come back a bit. What? Walk this way just a fraction. Whoop, yep. Yep. There you go. That was a bit better, That's further than the other one before. It was. Do you think it was the club? Well, it could have been, yeah. Just try swinging harder and faster. I might just use this little... Okay. Well done, that. How you going with Kimmy? Not so good. Not so good? No, I think these are all my balls down here on the grass. <laughs> no, no, I've seen some hit the water. Go for it. I don't know about Go that. for it. See? I've only just... You made the water. <laughs> Get in under it, babe. Just. I'm worried about ripping their turf up here. <laughs> Don't worry about that, sweetie. She's not real. Oh, I better stand this side. <laughs> oh, all the days. <laughs> Go try them up there. They might be doing better. <laughs> all the days. Oh, dear. It's been here, what, half an hour and I've still got a bucket of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you almost hit that duck, babe. Oh, sorry. That's a massive, yeah, that's gone yeah, over to Harrigan's. Far. That one went over Harrigan's, mate.
Right, so that was our golfing experience. How'd you go, Kimmy? Well, I did okay for my very no, first time. You did, yes. yes. Natalie? I think I done pretty well, actually. Yes. Of times I actually times. seen yep. you get close to Peter's ice cream out there. This is him, ice cream. The one out there. Nice Mickey, how did you go, mate? Uh, not too bad. You went pretty good, I think, mate. I've seen quite a few good hits there, son. Yeah, got a little group around that area, but just couldn't get it in. Oh, uh, well, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Fun. Okay, so that was our golf experience for the day. Want a babe? Yep. Aqua Golf. That was cool. Very, very good. Another entertaining day. Want a bay bay? Mm -hmm. Beautiful day, too. In the buckets, $9 each for 35 balls. Thought we'd better not go any more than that. We've got to get on the bikes and ride, you know. We'll probably be sore as hell tomorrow, won't we, babe? Mm. How are you feeling, that? You feel like another bucket, bucket of balls, don't you? Yeah, I can go more. <laughs> Michael's good. Well, considering Michael and I had done one and a half bucket of balls nearly, didn't we, Michael? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, because I injured myself. You look, she injured herself in golf. <laughs> no, not the axe throwing, mate. Yeah, no, no. In golf. No, Something nice and placid. She had the nice blades, mm. and then today on a, on a blood golf thing. Yeah. Yep. She injures herself in a gentleman's game. Oh, a gentleman's game. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, we'll catch you down the road. GoPro, stop recording. So Back here we are, we're at Aqua Golf and Putt Putt. We're just walking through the car park at the moment. Well, they stabilised good, isn't But it? we're yeah, heading yeah. to yeah, that's, um, the little shops the up here. In the little village, here's the gang. Beautiful park area. So I'll get back to you when we're in the shops. The Hunter Valley Gardens is tucked away in the bottom of the Broken Back Ranges in the very centre of the picturesque Hunter Valley Vineyards. Here there is more than 60 acres of well manicured themed gardens to explore as well as a range of activities for all the family to enjoy from restaurants and cafes, antique shops, galleries, clothing stores. There is a little something for everyone at this amazing destination. Bye. All too quick, our four day stopover was over. It was absolutely a fantastic blast of the time. Rocky. So we hit the road again. We're on the road again. Hey, hey guys, so we're hitting the road again from Newcastle, aren't we? Yeah. And we're heading back towards Port Macquarie Way, guys. Yes, I know, we've already been through there, but have not stopped there or been past there. But we've got unfinished business here this year, haven't we, sweetie? We have. That we couldn't do last year. In the unfinished business, who knows? So we've had a great four nights in uh, Newcastle with the kids. Yeah, it's been Yeah, we've had great weather while we've been here. A bit different than what it was last year. But that's the luck of the draw when you're on motorcycles, isn't it, babe? That's right. Yep. Don't up with me, up with me, up with me. I was looking at the body. Don't worry about the fucking bodies. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be looking at your body on the road. Oh, bullshit. I know how to stop at a red light. <laughs> Yeah, but you, you'll get on your knees and hands crying, Oh, I can't find you! Uh, <laughs> when I go through the light. <laughs> Won't you? No, I will not, because I'll just go back to Nat's and say, Nat, call your dad, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's great visiting the kids, guys. Love it. But we do not miss this. Traffic delays, do we, babe? No. Nah, no, we're, not, we're normally trying to avoid the cities unless we've got to go in there for obvious reasons. But all's good. You've got to take the good with the bad, don't you? This is yeah. the way we did come in and we got um, delayed too. Oh, okay. Oh, that bridge. Yeah, this is the Hexham Bridge and that up here, babe. They're doing a lot of roadworks around it. Not so bad today. Nah, it is a Saturday though today, guys. We did come in on a Tuesday, didn't we? Yes. It's part of riding all this. You've got to put oh, up yeah. with it. Not oh, much yeah. you can do about it. We love the nice, peaceful country roads, but we'll put up with this to go and see Natalie and Michael. It's what you've got to go through, isn't it, babe? Yeah. It's what the kids put you through. <laughs> <laughs> that is the bridge we come across. Not this one here, but the one on the other side we come across, babe, the old one there. Yeah. That one there. That's the way we come in. Well, they had nice views from up here, babe. So it should be pretty good now anyway, now that we've cleared the pass there, Yeah. hopefully. 
Unless everyone's coming the same way as us today. Well, that could be the thing, babe. We are heading up the Pacific Highway at the moment. It's a good road, the old Pacific Highway, isn't it? But um, down up the road here, we'll be stopping somewhere for lunch today. So come and join us, guys. Yeah, come and have lunch with us. Yes. Probably We're not real sure yet, are we, babe? No. We're still trying to work that out. There are a couple of places we'll probably be stopping off a day on the way to Port Macquarie. Just have a look. More than likely, we'll stop or go through the town, won't we? <laughs> and we are thinking about taking the coast road up after Q. So we're just coming up to Nabiak guys, we're still on the Pacific Highway. Now if you've watched Kimmy Russ Adventures before, we have stopped here. We stopped here last year at a little cafe, didn't we? we and did, it was yeah. pissing down with rain <laughs> when we left. Um, the National Motorcycle Museum is here as well. And um, we have done a video on that before, so if you want to look back through our videos. Over on the right here is where we stopped though. There's a hotel just there. The actual town is just over the back of it. And then a little cafe just on the corner there, if you've seen it. That's where we stopped. So we're actually looking for a bakery. We think it's a bakery on the left up here somewhere. Yeah, we think there's something up here. It's either a pub or a bakery in it. We'll drop back in behind this car and um, slow down because it's just up here on the left. We're not sure what it is. If it's a bakery, we're, we're thinking about stopping there. Yeah, we've always said, like, there's always heaps of cars in there. So. Yeah. Yeah, back bakery, cafe and deli, babe. All right. So we might go in here and have a look. Close Tuesdays. Oh, good on yous. Just as well as Saturday, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Oh, it's a gravel car park, babe. How are you going to uh, go? Deal with it. Oh, she's going to deal with it. She's tough today, isn't she, eh? What's the potholes, babe? Yeah. Oh, there's a nice little car in there. I don't know what it is. You just worry about where you're going, good. Oh, I hit this on angle and do not stop. Okay. Looks like they might be quite busy in here. There's always a lot of cars here. I fucking know there's a lot of cars. Look at these cars here, these Jags. Oh, no, I just, yeah, I just... Oh, the fucking little... Jag clubs out. Yeah, that... Out of my way, mate, I'm fucking coming in here. Or you just want to push back into here. Uh, yeah. No, I'm going up to the right. No, I'd, I'd push out. I'd push back into here. Nah, it's downhill here. a bit. Well, I'm not. Okay, you can go there. Oh. You want to go there, do you? Well, yeah. I'll come in next to you. Come on, guys, get out of me fucking way. I'd rather just back straight out then. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So you're I made my own decision. <laughs> fucking hell, there could be <laughs> trouble here, guys, if she's yeah. making the decisions. Yeah. I can tell you that right now. Uh. Anyway, it is what it is, isn't it, guys? But this is it here, so we'll go in and have a look. The Artesian farm it was built on a single clear vision to create a place where locals and travellers alike could take the time to connect with the brilliant produce from across the mid coast and the growers who made it possible. This place really does have some nice food and is very much so worth stopping at. Are you hungry? Are you hangry? Not really. Seven to four. There's the there's the bikes right there. Well, we've made it, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, what have they got? I can That's smell right. stuff. Mm -hmm. The smell of vision here, babe. Excellent. Pretty bloody busy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you what? That's a good idea. Um, you want to stop here? I know. Now she's getting tight, guys. Yeah, I'll have a no, roast we'll vegetarian. We'll sit down and we'll order something, won't a we? A roast vegetarian sandwich. You're full of fucking <laughs> shit. Okay, so this is our lunch today. I've got a pepper steak pie, a sausage roll, and Kitty has got a curry chicken pie. But she doesn't know what it is yet. What sort of pie did you get? 
I have no idea. <laughs> Gonna be a surprise packet, surprise isn't it? Surprise pie. See if she likes it. So, what do you think of that, Kimmy? That was very nice pie. The artesian farmer. It was very nice indeed, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. So, I highly recommend it. See, Kimmy highly recommends it. Yeah. They were a very a nice pie, weren't they? Well, I had a ch uh, curry chicken one and it was just... I don't like it that hot, but that was spicy, but not too bad. That's why she's got me, guys, because I'm hot. Oh, yeah, you're hot. That is hot as, that's as hot as she likes. You're hotter than a hot chick. Now, Kim did say she was right here, so we'll see. Yeah. Bike. You coming? Yeah, just give me a sec. No, I fucking run over the kangaroo. Oh, fucking hell. We're going the fucking wrong way. I'm not. It says exit there and the arrow goes to the left. Well, you try and get out there, babe. The exit goes to the right. Why have they got a sign that goes exit to the left? An arrow. Oh, see, it wanted you to come around that way. That? I did well on that gravel road. Oh, you're not off it yet. <laughs> Alright, so that was a very nice lunch, wasn't it, my darling? It was. It was. You never cleaned the bugs off of me windscreen. There was no fucking servo there. Oh, well, fucking old Rusty's going to have to find a servo then, if that's the case. Isn't he? Maybe when we hit Port Macquarie. We have got a runoff lane here. Okay guys, this is Q, apparently. Pretty sure we haven't been here before. No, we have not been here before. There's the axe. Where? Right oh, there. there it is. We fucking missed it. We fucking missed the axe. I blinked. We'll have to go back and have a look, I guess. Uh, I reckon, yes. We'll do a U-turn. Okay guys, this is the big axe in a queue. Looks like it lights up in the night. Yeah, it looks like they've got all pretty lights on it, isn't it, babe? Yeah. That's it, right there. Is that for an axe, babe? You reckon you relax. could throw that one? No. What? Rela relax, relax. <laughs> That's a big axe in queue, guys. <laughs> It's got all lights open, you can't see it though because it's not dark. No, oh, it'll be pretty at dark time. Yep. We have got a servo here, just wondering if we should fuel up. Can do. Port Macquarie is about 40, isn't it, away? Yeah, we have got fuel, but what happens if we take detours? So we're going to fuel up here, then we're going to head out towards uh, Lauriton Way. Which way is that, babe? Kempsey's straight ahead up that way. Oh, Lauriton to the right. Yep, Ocean Drive. <laughs> you probably can't see it. It's behind the sign there. Yeah, no, I can't yeah, see it. It's over there on the corner boat, right the over there. Same on... way that the Harley on the trailer just went. Yep. Don't say that. Well, it was. Oh. I see a red one on the trailer. Not lying. Uh, so, you see us coming in the queue, we're going to head out towards the Lauriton Way and hopefully go up the coast way, if we don't stuff up, going to Port Macquarie, innit babe? Yep. <laughs> I haven't got a GPS or anything set for it, so we're just going to play by ear at the moment, or by sight at the moment I should say. Should be fairly well signed anyway. Yeah, it should be a beautiful ride down through this way too, in around all through the lakes and entrances and that. There we go, Port Macquarie, 38 k's, Laurenton 7. So we'll just try and keep following the sign, won't we, babe? Yeah, we're trying to find a lookout, I think. Yes, keep an eye open for that as well. That's going to go right up on that mountain. Yeah, well, he did say it was a windy road up there. Yeah. Steep, steep road, but flat at the top. Uh, we'll get back to you when we find this lookout road, if we find it. So we've just turned off, yeah, at the last minute I've just seen the North Brother lookout. So we're going to go up there and have a look, aren't we, babe? Sure are. We're already on our way up here. Yep. Nice windy road going up there. Ooh, it's going to be a nice view, babe. Oh, yeah. No cars coming, no cars got power on, power yeah, on. Yeah. Yep. Keep momentum babe faster. Keep the momentum up. 
quite curvy and steep up around here guys just trying to help Kimmy out a little bit there so she Thank doesn't you. actually faint like a fainting goat on a corner <laughs> <laughs> just to keep her moving like guys oh it's going to be good views oh, it's getting warmer don't go too far left no. drops away there in that corner and we're coming up here guys just to show you guys the views and obviously to have a look at ourselves too aren't we Once we get up the top to the lookout. Yeah, I know. Well, the Dorogon National Park, guys. We're in. Car coming. What, how fast does bloody road go? Um, I think all up it was 10 kilometres from Q, the lookout. We've done 9.9 .9 now. About that, if I remember when, when I typed it in at Michael's. So we must be nearly there. There's a nice road up through here guys, nice and windy, it is um, narrow, but a good road, good bitumen road. Yeah, we're starting to plateau now. Yep, I think we might be just about here, we are, boat. Now my wheel's in motion, and my wind 